Welcome back to the Sinker Guy Garage. Today we're gonna to talk about how to clean pompano and then use the air fryer to cook it. Lots of different ways that you can prepare a pompano. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different ways uh, preparing whole fish uh, and then also I'm gonna show you how to fillet. Uh, the fillet will come at the end because I wanna show how easy it is and how quick it is to put these whole fish into the air fryer and enjoy them for your family that evening. Go ahead and keep watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the notification button over there. All right, today's catch. What we're gonna do is we've got three different uh, pompano we caught today. We're gonna prepare them in three different ways for the air fryer. And go ahead and just fast forward if you don't wanna see any blood and guts, things like that. We're going to just remove the head and it's gonna be super easy. This is probably the easiest way to clean a pompano immediately when you get back. So there's meat up here in the head. So I'm just gonna start at the head. I'm just gonna go around this fin and then clean everything out. So, so I'm just gonna go around, right around the fin here and then back down. And everybody can see that, it's pretty simple. And now I'm just going to use this right here, go right underneath here and open that all the way up pretty simple and we're just going to pull all everything off the outs outside with my knife very 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 easy to do flip it over to the other side and here we are and I'm just going to turn my knife just pull that off there and that's going to just come out go ahead and throw that in the bucket and obviously it's been eating clams uh, so one thing is is always have your towel but right in here, there's the bloodline. And this is what they talk about bleeding your fish. So if you don't bleed your fish, you're gonna have a little bloodline in there. But all you have to do, just put your finger in there and just work that blood out of there. Pretty simple. And then we'll just uh, we'll just toss that out and then we'll soak this uh, here a little bit and clean up and clean all that out of there. And then I usually just squeeze the tail a little bit to get that uh, extra blood out of there. But that's number one, uh, the easiest way to clean your fish. Now. What, what I do to make it easy for the air fryer is I go ahead and cut the tail off right now and then I just turn my fish and cut these scales off. So not supposed to cut towards yourself, but I'm just gonna cut all these fins off right here. And there are some right here. So you're gonna just keep coming, pretty simple, right to there, that's easy. I'm just gonna come down the bottom, cut this next set of fins off, just like that. And we're done. We got one more right there. I missed it. Right there. So, and you can cut these fins off if you want. Also, not a necessity. So, there it is. That's the first first fish. That's going to go in the air fryer just like that. If I'm cooking on the grill, this is how I like them myself. I'm going to leave the head on. Uh, the head the head has um, oils and stuff in it that that go into the meat what I normally do is I just cut right down here all the way down you can feel where it hits pop that open here now I'm just gonna open that guy up just like that just like that gonna right underneath and now remember I have the head still on there so I'm just gonna work my knife get all the stuff off the sides and flip him over and this way is a little bit more difficult uh, number one, some people don't won't eat a fish with a head on it. Um, I, when I moved here, I didn't really enjoy that myself, but I did get used to it, and now we eat a lot. And then right underneath here, you're just going to be, I usually just cut, and then cut a V, but it's hearts in, up in there. So there's some other things up in there. Just cut that. And now what we're going to do is just try to pull all that stuff out, throw that in the bucket. And now, once again, when I look down in there, I still have that bloodline and that bloodline just needs to be cut. So I'm just going to cut that bloodline and I'm going to work that, work my finger and then use the hose to get all that blood out of there. Um, and I won't show all that, but you just clean it out as best as you can and uh, make it uh, presentable. And then what we're going to do is then we'll have a fish just like this for the grill. And that's a beautiful fish uh, for the grill. You can put it in the air fryer if you have an 11 inch one. This one's not gonna fit in our air fryer, uh, I believe, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it. I might have to cut the tail off, might have to cut the head off, but it's a great way to, uh, uh, an easy way to clean your, your pompano. 
All right, so just preparing. We have uh, skin off uh, Pompano. We've got skin on Pompano. I, we, we're just trying it to see which one we think is going to be the best. I think the skin on is going to be the best, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we have the whole Pompano, which I don't think it's going to fit on the air fryer, but we haven't checked it yet. But And then we have the one that's already cut up. The big thing is here is just pre uh, prepping it uh, correctly. So when we're looking at this, we're just going to make cuts so we can, if you don't like to eat the skin, like my, my friend Cowboy Scott, he doesn't like to eat the skin. So uh, this is an easy way that you don't have to eat the skin. Uh, so I'm just cutting a little pattern here. It doesn't really have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be um, symmetrical. It just, you're gonna just peel this skin off when you go to eat it. Now, my friend Louie loves the skin, so He'll just eat all the skin, but you can just peel that off when it gets, uh, uh, when you get uh, to the, to eating it. So it just makes it easy. So you're just trying to make a little piece, uh, really is just looking at the pieces, the sizes. But this is the easiest way. Uh, and then we're going to uh, cover this with olive oil. A lot of times we put garlic inside here. We're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna use salt and pepper for uh, my mother-in-law because <clears throat> everything tastes a little bit different. So. If you want to know what the fish tastes like, just use salt and pepper. So I have this, I'm going to just transfer the fish here. I'm going to just pour olive oil on it, just a nice light olive oil, salt and pepper both sides. All right, so far we've, uh, uh, it's going to be around for a whole pompano. It's going to be seven to nine minutes a side. We're going to start with nine minutes on one side, flip it over, and we'll uh, do the old uh, fish test to see if it's done. But we've got, uh, we've got nine and nine for 18. Right there we are, one, one pompano on. And we're just gonna put that in there. And at nine minutes, we're gonna flip that over. And we're officially at nine minutes. So we're gonna pull this guy out and look how beautiful that thing looks. So, crispy, oh, and that just pulls that skin right off there like that. So flip him over, oh, we lost a little bit of him. I like putting lemon on top of it too, but that's half. And for the next half, here we go. We use a Power XL, which uh, fulfills a pretty good amount of uh, need. A bunch of fish. Also. Then there it is. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. And the, te the test is if you put your fork in and it turns and it opens just like that, just comes right off there look at that beautiful that's this first one and for the the fillet is just gonna lay them in there skin down we only have this one that doesn't have any skin so we'll see how the difference is we're gonna put it on for seven minutes seven minutes at 400 degrees These are so easy to use. Seven minutes. And then let's just start on its own. We got two minutes. It's, we put it on for seven. Let's go ahead and check it just to make sure. Oh, look at that. Yep. Right at seven minutes, it looks like. Look at that. Just peeled right off of there. See that? Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Need a plate. Oh, look at that. One delivered. Hmm, just showed up. And we got the whole one in. There we are. 18 minutes. 400 degrees. All right, whole pompano. A little difficult with that big one on a big guy. I'll we'll put him back in there for a few more. All right, one minute left. I'm gonna put it in for, this will be eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes aside when the dinger goes off. And there it was, done. And I have a little plate. I don't think it's gonna be big enough. So my special assistant has Oh, delivered another plate. 
So here we go. Look at that beautiful pompano. Look at that guy. There we are. Try it yourself. Comment on the video. I really like to have lemon put on top, so I'll squeeze a little bit of lemon on top. Um, some people don't like lemon, so uh, I'll just squeeze it on my individual one so I don't have to cook it in there. So, thanks for watching. It's good. <laughs> I hate fish. It's good. Well, the review is in. <laughs> Whole pompano in the air fryer, good. Does not need to be nine minutes. It needs to be seven minutes aside, nine minutes a little dry. So we're putting the next one on at at seven minutes aside. The fillets, amazing. Yes. Uh, this seems to be a lot better than if you do not skin it. Amen. Yes. So, the review on the background. So, really there it is. Skin your pompano if you're going to put it in the air fryer. You'll love it. Yeah. Well, we just got done eating that pompano. Wonderful. My mother-in-law and father-in-law are here this weekend and uh, nothing better than eating fresh fish uh, caught right from the ocean. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Edge of this. And one of the great things about summer is flies. And they are here right now. But one of the big things here is we're going to just work down all the way close to the edge. And now I did already take this off the end. So now I'm just going to go right underneath that little backbone right there. And you can see it. I'm just going to work my knife all the way down to the, to the bottom. Nice and easy, firm, nice, firm strokes. I can feel the, I can feel uh, the bones. Now I'm, when I get past this point, I'm just going to turn my knife. This is the easiest point. I'm just going to now work my knife all the way to the front and I'm just going to turn my knife up and that should release everything that you got. And by golly, there's my pompano filet. Look at that. It's beautiful. And all because of this little towel made it so much easier. So here we go for a second round on the other side. Boom. Come up from its head. I like this head meat right there. It's pretty good right there. And I'm going to turn, get the scales off. Very simple. Make sure you watch this a couple times. I, I make it look pretty easy. It's not as easy, but one of the big the keys is my knife is the lengthways with the fish. So I'm not trying to murder or anything, do anything crazy. I'm just trying to get the scales off. And then I'm just going to go through there. And boom. And if you're wondering, I, I use this Rada knife, um, fillet knife. It's I like it. It's pretty firm, uh, forgiving, and super sharp. So then I'm just going to work my knife down. I can turn it pretty nice there. Just going to keep working, working, working. Just need a sharp knife. That's the big key here. And I'm just going to keep going here. And then I'm going to come right back to the tail here. I'm just going to work all the way down there. You can see me just work down. I got right to it. I'm just going to turn it and I'm going to turn my knife and go forward and then pop it up. Boom. Simple. There's my fillet. Super easy. Didn't leave a lot of a lot of stuff on the fish. You can see through it. That's always a good thing. So now how I clean these out, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm just gonna really close. You need a sharp, your knife needs to be sharp to get these out, these little bones. I'm just gonna turn it up, get rid of that. And then there's always one bone that you'll miss right here most of, most of the time. So what I normally do is just cut that off right there. And, and get that one. It's not going to lose much meat there. My dad's a lot better at this when we when he stays with us in the winter. Uh, he does he does this part of the cleaning. <laughs> oh, there we are. 
So on this, there's five bones right here. What we want to do is we want to get those bones out. I just cut down, pulled out, cut down. That's going to cut out some of the bloodline, which is the taste that some people don't like. So, and there we are. So that's filleted. Need to sharpen my knife a little bit, but that's filleted. You can cut right down here and the skin, you can leave the skin on or you can take it off. Uh, I usually just, if I'm gonna do a lot of cooking, a lot of people, I just cut that and then I'll cut this bloodline out. Cause we don't want people to dislike the fish if they're new to fish eating fish, just cause we didn't take a little bit more time to prep it, if that makes sense. So there's, there's one piece. Now here's the next piece where we're just gonna cut that bloodline out. We're gonna lose a little bit of meat, but you know, we want people to enjoy it. Pretty super easy. So there we are. And that's uh, that's how I like to clean them. I'm gonna teach you a little trick here. When, uh, when filleting, the easiest way is just go down and hold, but use your use this hand to pull the skin and just work the, and then that'll just the, the, look at that. Because I pulled the skin, I didn't have to work that hard to get the nice, beautiful filet. So pull the skin, don't try to work your knife through it, just pull the skin. That's how easy that is to filet. Hopefully this has helped. Hit that subscribe button, I appreciate you. Ms. Ruby, do you love Pompano? Can you say yes? Woo. Say yes. Oh, you love Pompano? Look at her. Licking the lips, huh, Miss Ribs? Oh, Pompano. <laughs>